Hello, welcome back to another video. Today we are reviewing a budget option, the Mayono AU100R, a $30 lavalier microphone. Now this mic was provided to me by Mayono for review, so full disclaimer, but I'll be honest. Anyway, starting with this Rode-esque box. Inside is the lavalier microphone, the USB charging cable, an adapter, metal clip, wind muff, manual, and carrying bag. The clip itself is of very poor quality and it took a lot of physical exertion, I guess, or really bending it to make it fit the microphone. So that wasn't a fun experience at all. Which brings us to the microphone itself. Now the capsule of the microphone is actually very large, so hiding it will be somewhat of a challenge. Keep that in mind. Of course, that may not apply to you. Like me, I'm exposing this microphone, I don't really care. Another thing to note is the length of the cable, which is 20 feet or six meters long. You'll also notice that this microphone has a battery, unlike most of the others out there. It's rated for 90 hours of working time. I'm not exactly sure what the rationale behind it is since other options don't have a battery at all and provide great results. Perhaps the most likely is because of the switch that allows you to change the connection type to work with a smartphone. Not entirely sure though. And finally you'll also see an LED indicator that will signify the remaining battery life. So useful, not useful, not entirely sure. So this entire video thus far has been recorded on the Mayono AU100R running into the Zoom H1 field recorder with some post-processing. Hopefully that gives you a good picture of what this microphone is capable of. And if it sounded okay to you, then I wouldn't hesitate to buy it because it's such a great price. But if you're willing to spend a little bit more and see if even more quality is possible, here are some comparisons to other options out there. Now for these comparisons, I wanted to keep the smartphone recording options in mind as well because I know some people uh, want a very quick and easy budget setup and they already have smartphones. So up on the screen are the combinations I'm going to be running. I'll also denote in each recording which combination is being used. So the first combination is the Mayono into the iPad. I lost my headphone jack dongle so I'm recording into my old iPad Pro instead of my phone and you are listening to it right now. The Mayono AU100R plugged into the iPad Pro and I'm just recording with the stock voice memos app. This is the raw audio and no post-processing has been applied. Next we have the Rode SmartLab Plus, currently running for $109 on Amazon in Canada. I've owned this microphone for many years now and it's always been a solid option. I've not really used it with my phone or iPad that much, however, because I've always preferred using it with an external recorder, which allows me finer controls of the input volume and monitoring my audio when I'm recording. And as you can see here, we have the iPad Pro. Switching recorders now, here's the Mayono again, this time plugged into my handy Zoom H1 field recorder. Remember to switch the connection type on the microphone from smartphone to on slash others when using a dedicated recorder like this. I've owned this recorder forever and love to place this into the subject's pocket with a lav mic plugged in. Again, this is the Mayono into the Zoom H1. Moving on, this is the combination I was mainly using when micing people up for interviews or weddings. Unlike the Mayono, the SmartLab Plus requires a separate adapter, a TRRS to TRS cable, in order to be used with an external recorder like the Zoom H1 or to plug into your camera directly. I really like the setup and I would highly recommend it to those on a budget. After using the Zoom H1 for a while, you begin to realize that though it's relatively small and technically pocketable, the Zoom H1 is kind of a bulky solution. Something like this Tascam DR10L is actually a much smaller setup, and though it seems much steeper in price, keep in mind that the DR10L comes with both a recorder and a microphone. And right now, we're recording into the included microphone going straight into the DR10L. So two final options I wanted to include and explore are comparisons when pairing these microphones with the Rode Wireless Go, a wireless solution to recording audio straight into your camera. Of course, this is the most expensive of the bunch, but I think it's also a very popular item with newer filmmakers or videographers or people trying to get into the online space. The main thing is that it's wireless and completely hands-free and is very small so you can hide it easily on yourself or anybody you're filming. Right now I have the Mayono plugged into the Wireless Go with a connection set to on slash others. The transmitter is over on my camera plugged into it and the receiver is just living in my pocket. So now we have the Rode SmartLav Plus plugged directly into the Rode Wireless Go receiver. The benefit of using a system like this, although it's a little bit more expensive, is the fact that it's hands-free, it's wireless, but also the fact that you don't have to do any work in post-production to sync up audio. All of the tests without the Rode Wireless Go had an external recorder, meaning that there was internal audio with the camera that I have to match up that external audio file to. In the case of this Rode Wireless Go, it's directly recording into my camera, so I don't have to do any of that work in post-production. 
Now actually this is the final comparison that I wanted to include and that's the built-in microphones of the Rode Wireless Go. The Rode Wireless Go is actually meant to be clipped onto an article of clothing and get it close to your mouth as possible. I believe this is a similar distance to the laughs from before. I don't know if I would mount it this way because again it's very easy to see and I don't like how the light is flickering. I think the light is flickering or at least the LED light is on and I'm pretty sure it's not completely hidden. So maybe just take this as a audio reference in terms of distance, but here's probably how I would actually mount it to myself. Okay, so I've moved the Rode Wireless Go and clipped it right around my chest area on the inner flap, I guess, or inner side of this shirt. And if the shirt's a little tight, you can see the bulk there of it sticking out, but this is a rather loose shirt, so this is actually okay. Okay, so that wraps up the audio tests. Uh, which ones did you like the most? Please comment down below. I'm gonna go listen through the files now on the computer, see what I like, see what I dislike, make some conclusions, and I'll be back in a little bit. I'm back. Okay, so conclusions. I've taken the time to listen through each of the samples, and I think I have a decent understanding of each audio quality or the characteristics of each microphone and recorder combination. I'm going to go into each one slightly in depth, but if you want to save yourself the time in TLDR, the Mayono I think is a better alternative or option compared to the Rode Smart Lab, which is what I'm using to record right now. But that being said, if you want to record directly into your camera or your phone, then I think the Rode Smart Lab is actually a better choice. If budget isn't the issue, then Tascam d 10 l But if convenience is your number one priority, then the wireless go is great, but you're not gonna really get an improvement in audio quality when compared to the Mayono or the Rode Smart Lab. Okay, so diving in, Mayono into the iPad, we heard a lot of digital noise in between phrases. So what that means is that the iPad is automatically setting your levels as you go. I did notice with the Mayono, it actually ran a little bit hotter. That is the volume is very loud compared to all the alternatives and I had to bring it a little bit down in post. And again, that's kind of one of the concerns of plugging directly into your iPad or phone is that you can't really control the input level and the microphone will do weird things like it did in the example shown here. Of course, if you find a dedicated audio recording app, such as I believe the Rode Reporter app, I haven't tried personally, but anything that provides you that control over the volume, then you won't have this issue at all. And the Neona will be then the cheapest option. But if you're like me and you want something that's more convenient and just want to record using the voice memos app, then the Mayono is not the best solution here because of that noise. Number two, so curiously, the Smart Lab into the iPad actually got rid of this auto leveling noise problem, I guess. Um, or maybe the microphone itself just has a lot less self noise. I'm not exactly sure. But bottom line is the Smart Lab sounded great directly into the iPad and we didn't have that issue that we have with the Mayono. But also of note, I think the Smart Lab actually sounded a little bit flatter and lacked a little bit of low end when compared to the Mayono. And overall, the audio quality seems very comparable, which I think is a win for the Mayono since it is $30 and the Rode Lab is $109. Mayono into the H1 is a much better solution and I think is one of the top budget recommendations I would give. It cleaned up very nicely when compared to the Mayono into the iPad because you don't have that issue of noise popping up in between. And also, I'm not exactly sure why, but it seemed like there was more clarity in the audio file to my ears. Smart Lab into the H1 was actually my go-to setup for a long time in the beginning, so I'm I'm very surprised by how much interference there was. I think it's because it's the first time I clipped it alongside other mics. I have the Mayono right beside it, and then there's the battery pack of the Mayono, and I think I also have my Rode Wireless Go clipped onto my shirt beneath it. So there's a lot of sources where interference can pop up, which I guess is another good thing for the Mayono because it didn't really struggle with interference, whereas the Rode did. However, I think the audio quality of the Smart Lab is more than acceptable. And again, you're hearing that audio right now plugged into the camera, but I honestly think that it sounds a little bit flat compared to the Mayono mic. Okay, so Tascam DR10L, I think here we heard the biggest jump in audio quality. I think it's undeniable that the low end seems a little bit more clear, less muddy, and the high end, there's a big jump there and boost. So it almost sounds a little bit too crisp and tin or too much trouble in the high end, but when it comes to lav mics, often you want to actually clip it under your shirt in order to hide it. So something like extra trouble or a boost in the high end is actually a big benefit when you're clipping it under shirts. Because often it's the case that you lose a lot of that top end when there is a piece of clothing on top of the microphone. Mayono into the Wireless Go sounded pretty indistinguishable from the Mayono into the Zoom H1, so I'm not gonna really comment further. 
It's great. Smart Lab into the wireless go, luckily no interference this time around, so we got to really hear the audio qualities. Again, I think it just sounds a little bit more flat compared to the Mayono. Something in the low end is missing, and even in the top end and high end, I feel like it's just, I don't know, it's not there. I feel like maybe the mids are a little bit more pronounced and boosted, which is not a popular sound, at least today, but it's not bad. It's just, I think the Mayon is a little bit better. And finally, the Rode Wireless Go clipped onto my shirt. This actually sounded really similar to the Rode Smart Lab to my ears, at least in terms of the audio quality and properties of the sound. I also noted that I hear more echo when compared to the lav mics being plugged into the Rode Wireless Go or the other alternative setups. And that's where I guess the value of the Wireless Go really comes into question. You're not really getting a jump in audio quality when compared to these budget alternatives or cheaper options. What you are getting, however, is a major jump in convenience. You don't have to worry about clipping a lav mic on anywhere. There's no wires, no cables or anything. You can plug it directly into your camera and there's no syncing in post. So for me, I really prioritize convenience and I really love the way the wireless go system works. However, I think it does struggle with RF interference here and there. And it's not that easy to hide considering that it still is a bulky thing when compared to something like a lav mic. Luckily, the shirt I was wearing was very thick around the button. So it was very easy to hide underneath. But if I was wearing a different shirt, I think I would struggle with that. But again, just in terms of work, flow and convenience, I love it. I think it's amazing. So finally, would I recommend or would I buy personally the Mayo on a lav microphone? Without a doubt, I, absolutely. I think for me, if I needed a lav mic quick and I was on a budget, then yeah, I would actually consider the Mayono over the road smart lav. For me, the extra length of the cord is kind of bothersome, but actually could be useful in some situations. I don't like the attached battery, but it does provide that convenience of not having to carry around a dongle or adapter when trying to plug into a smartphone or an external recorder. And continuously, I'm being surprised by how good these cheap alternatives are. But I think as a consumer, there is that worry that if you buy something that's too cheap, it's not gonna last or it's not gonna perform as well as something more expensive. In this case though, I think it'll perform just as well, if not better than the Rode Smart Lab. So if that's what you're looking at, and if that's what your budget is, then I highly recommend going for the Mayono. I wouldn't record directly into the iPad or iPhone. I think I would pick up an external recorder, such as the Zoom H1 used market somewhere there, or because of the extremely long cable directly into your camera. But for lab mics, I think it's a very good skill set to have and thing to learn uh, how to plug it into an external recorder and record audio and sync and post. But that's it for me. If you are interested in picking up the Mayono AU100R, then there's a link down below in the description box. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below as well. Like, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff, yada, yada, yada. Hope it helped. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Be well, be healthy. Bye.